This restaurant called Reb Gut is noted for its fusion cuisine using local products from the Tauber Valley. So I've come here to talk to the chef and hopefully he'll be telling me a bit more about what they do. Travelling around the Tauber wine region and uh, I've come to this place here which is most curious and uh, this is uh, Christian who is the head cook and so we have a very unusual modern restaurant Reb Gut in a village uh, outside of the village not even in the village yes and um, why here and what are you doing uh, I'm the head chef of the kitchen um, I like to cook modern style I like to make some new ways of my own stuff some cooking ways and use all the area and all local good things here to make my guests happy mm -hmm. um, the idea of this house is since 1930 to make some good wine mm -hmm. and to make some new way of create good wine mm -hmm. and for five years it becomes a new way uh, additional with the new way of kitchen and the new way of living additional on top on the on the way you make some wine and now we have to look forward and we are always looking what did the guest uh, are looking for yes yes <laughs> absolutely and okay as far as food is concerned uh, what I uh, heard was that for example if you take a local product such as a uh, spelt a uh, green cane, Yes. And uh, that, but then you turn, change it into a sort of a Spanish type style, uh, some, uh, tapas, something along those lines. Oh, um, that's what I was told. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, for a few few uh, years, we uh, tried this way to offer our guests some different kinds of a meal that you can taste. Um, a Pelliborg or you can taste some some green green can that's a, a special wheat mm -hmm. and so on so on but um, now we have so many guests a day mm -hmm. uh, we can't over more no more this concept so mm -hmm. we have to make one dish because it's um, very fast for for us in the kitchen mm -hmm. to make this plate uh, once for mm -hmm. one person and mm -hmm. not uh, five or six for one person. Yes. yes. Um, for today we have here a, a local um, fish. It calls in German uh, Bachsaibling. Mm -hmm. It's um, a sweet water fish mm -hmm. and. Yes. It's, it's very special, it's grow up to uh, one and a half kilos mm -hmm. and normally you get this in the area um, around the mountains mm -hmm. and just so with one kilo and it's yeah, very, very special and we, mm -hmm. we create this with some uh, celery, apple and curry. Uh, also we have um, um, at the starter, we start with a tartar um, mm -hmm. from a local beef mm -hmm. and combination with some watercress and some herbs with uh, some flowers and so on. Um, then we have uh, some pasta with uh, vegetables, uh, slowly braised and uh, chives. Um, and the main course we also have for people which don't like a fish mm -hmm. <laughs> and very good ox cheek braised in uh, coconut and the combination with uh, some chives and uh, cauliflower and mm -hmm. uh, so on. The dessert is um, a white peach 
and the combination with pepper, uh, especially herbs and uh, cranberries, sorbet, mm -hmm. and so on. Okay, well that, that sounds very good. Now, tell me a bit about the wines. Um, we prefer in this area um, some white wine. Mm -hmm. We um, uh, the most popular white wine uh, we have is just Riesling, mm -hmm. and we have an experimental um, kind of white wine. It's called Hölder. Mm -hmm. It's uh, um, it's very special. We are the only wine yard in Germany um, who makes it. And yeah, that's very specially for us. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that's very that's very good. Um, right. So thank you. <laughs> Welcome. You're mixing it with the, uh, the the sauce that was made earlier from tomatoes and uh, other ingredients. Yes, some onions and some mustard and some cornish sauce. Mm -hmm. some watercress so this is just watercress which has been liquidized or watercress with water yes that's just uh, mixed with some olive uh, oil and there we have some herbs Strong taste and some flowers of the herbs. Mm -hmm. Some bread chips. Then it becomes more crispy. Now we have the pickled egg yolk. Now it's very unusual in my opinion. So here you are, bon appetit. 
Excellent. Very good. So we've seen how it's made. Let's see what it tastes like. A work of art, it seems a pity to start eating it. Now we make our dessert, the white peach with red currant sorbet. This is mirage. Meran? Meran, yes. Yeah, that's a hard word. Yes. I yes. At school I said the word meringue. <laughs> that's, that's the way it's spelled, but it's, it's meringue. So now the white peach on the top. On the top of the peach we have marzipan mousse. Here did we have fermented pepper. Fermented pepper? Yes. It's, it's not so strong, mm -hmm. but uh, very um, aromatic. -o. Oh yes, I can feel it from here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, very, very. So here did we have the sorbet of bread. And now some little basil. Also very aromatic. Absolutely. So you have pepper, you have some marzipan, um, the white peach, and the basil. That's awesome in the summer. Yeah, fantastic presentation. That is incredible. It's really a piece of art. <laughs> so, bon appetit. It looks absolutely amazing. So good, I don't even want to touch it. To me it's a work of art. <laughs>